in South Africa, people who inject drugs are the population at highest risk for hepatitis C. We think there are about 82 to 83,000 people who inject drugs. So about one in five people who inject drugs is living with HIV and one in two and even more are living with hepatitis C. Very few people have access to hepatitis C testing, even though we have a fantastic cure. Under the Unit Aid Star Hepatitis C Research Project, we at Izinsha, in collaboration with PSI and ANOVA, are exploring the acceptability, usability and feasibility of self-testing amongst high-risk populations for hepatitis C. We are currently testing two self-tests, one an oral test and one a blood-based test. Both have been currently submitted to the World Health Organization for pre-qualification for self-testing. We are partnering with ANOVA, an NGO doing harm reduction work with people who are injecting drugs. Services such as Nido Exchange and OST are provided at the fixed site in Yeovil Clinic and at the outreach sites through mobile vans. We have integrated the study here, where people are offered hepatitis C self-testing and to be enrolled in the study to evaluate whether hepatitis C self-testing is acceptable, whether it is easy to use, and whether people are accepting confirmative testing and treatment in case of a positive hepatitis C self-test result. For the hepatitis C self-testing today, did you use the blood-based or the oral-based test? Uh, I used the oral-based test. How did you find it? Was it easy to use? Uh, yes, it was easy, a bit tricky, but uh, all in all it was quite easy. Would you recommend the oral based test to a friend? Uh, yes, I definitely would because uh, all, all instructions are there and it's, it's actually more convenient. It's, it's quite convenient, yeah. Now we have received your results mm -hmm. for hepatitis C. It does um, uh, confirm that you have a, a hepatitis C that is still active. So mm -hmm. these are the DAAs, which is the medication uh, uh, to cure hepatitis C. Direct acting antivirals are one of the revolutions of modern medicine. People need treatment for about three to six months. And then after that, over 95% of people will be cured. So this study is very important because the findings are gonna show us how useful hepatitis C self-testing can be. And as a technology, we know that it can help be an access point for people into the treatment care cascade. It can also be an opportunity for them to engage with other people in their social network who also need to be tested. But for it to really make an impact on eliminating hepatitis C as a public health threat by 2030, we have to ensure that we have access to confirmatory testing and really ensuring that the direct acting antivirals are available, affordable and accessible and also complemented with accessible coverage of harm reduction services. Viral hepatitis is um one of a major health disease which affect the liver. Also, um, when someone actually is affected with it, it has so many health implications, which it can result to liver diseases and liver cancer. Now, um, when it comes to hepatitis C, um, currently in Nigeria, the prevalence is at 1.1%. It has other data that you can get based on different geopolitical zones. And in North Central, which Nasara fall into, in Nasara State to be precise, the prevalence is actually high. And Nasara State, um, from the data that is on ground, is at 14%. One of the challenges is costs. Not all people can afford to come to the health facility to do hepatitis testing. That is one. And also, people that are very literate are scared of coming to the facility to come do hepatitis C and testing. Another challenge is lack of awareness. In these are climes, so many people are not educated. What I like about the test is plenty, oh, because ah, plenty of people know they yes, uh, we go even make me come they think say some kind of thing. And now me use my hand, I they see the test, I they do them, I can't see the result by myself. Now what I like about the test be that. Now did that then look at the abani. The Kumokuya one day, Kuya Munyan design in test. The Zunku, our genu, Nagani, Yen design here, but I'm our one resorting. So I can think I'll bring you in Yenda, Nai, Halmazan, Yokuya, my one in Nima. We give them the option to choose between the two kinds of SEP test kits we have that's the oral fluid and the blood base. You know, you're able to run the test on your own, know your status without anyone interfering. 
and then the free test and free medication which is being given. When they react positive to the rapid test, they are sent to the laboratory for the further confirmation, which is very crucial for the entire process of diagnosis, management and treatment. For those that carry their test home, the service and the research assistants follow them with calls to know their result. And for those that are positive, there is also another interface and seamless synergy between the research assistants, the hospital and the lab.